what is going on everybody out there in youtube land yeah i hope y'all feeling groovy today i got a groove e-liquid for you <laughs> yes i do man i got a groovy one for you oh it's a it's like a I'm going to explain it to you a little bit. It's a banana vape, kind of like a banana creamy eggnog, spiced banana, creamy, milky eggnog. You know, why not? Why not? Let's just make it. You know what I'm saying? So I did. And I said, well, hell, let me put some some caramel in with it too, man. I love my caramels and I've been playing a lot with my caramels this month, you know, the last couple of videos. So I put a bunch of different that gone caramels in with it as well. Man, I ain't lying. It took a lot, a lot for me to stay out of it to start with. Now, right off the bat, it was straight up banana. You know what I'm saying? And you taste a, a good bit of the caramel on the vape, okay? And I'm going to show you the recipe here in a minute. And you can taste the caramel up front when you first mixed it up. You couldn't taste none of the eggnog flavor or eggnog. You couldn't taste hardly any of it whatsoever or too much of the spices from the eggnog. You couldn't even taste that, you know? Uh, so... I knew it needed some steep, you know, so I, I stayed out of it, my 15 mil, I stayed out of it, and about five to seven days, that eggnog, the spices finally started coming through, the banana I used calmed down just a little bit, but the caramels kind of almost disappeared, but were there, if you know what I mean. The caramel acted kind of like uh, a make made it more smooth, uh, creamier, should I say? It made the eggnog more creamier without a caramel taste. It's, it was it's an interesting recipe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the recipe because I know y'all are dying to see the daggone recipe. Okay, share screen. I don't even have a picture for this. Okay, oh wait a minute, not that one. This one right here. Okay, now, banana caramel eggnog. Now, here was my idea, you know, banana, caramel, and eggnog, you know, just as simple as that. So I used banana puree, one of the flavors, at 2%. Caramel butter, one of the flavors, at 1.5%. Custard premium at 2 Eggnog at 1.5%. Salted caramel at 2 and vanilla bean ice cream from the Flavor Apprentice at 3%. Okay, now, just what I explained to you, now that you see the recipe, do you see how the caramels almost kind of got buried? Oh, you know, it's like, I don't know what happened, you know? They got buried, they got hidden somehow or another. The custard premium, you know, gave it thickness. It, don't get me wrong, it was a good vape. It really was. It's just so, I got to thinking, well, hell, the caramels kind of disappeared. Why not? I just totally just take them out, you know? Let's take the caramels out of this recipe. Let's let's do a version two, should I say. You know what I'm saying? Let old hippie vape show you how to do version two, okay? So I got to thinking, you know, well, hell, I really don't need the custard premium, so I'm going to drop it. I'm going to keep the eggnog. I'm going to keep the banana puree. We're dropping the custard, dropping the salted caramel. I want to keep that vanilla bean ice cream. I love, that's my favorite vanilla bean ice cream. I don't care what other people say. It's my favorite. You know, it's milky. It's creamy. It's a really nice, good flavor. Okay, so let's do number two. Here we go. Check it out. Banana nut bread, the flavor apprentice, two and a half percent. Banana puree, one percent. Eggnog, two and a half percent instead of one and a half. 
Milkshake from Capella. Hell yeah, 2%. Let's give it a little creamy, real thick, you know, feel to that eggnog. You know what I'm saying? Let's lift that eggnog up some more with some milkshake. And vanilla bean ice cream from the Flavor of Prince at 1.5%. Now, I was thinking maybe raising this up a little bit, maybe to 3%. I just don't know quite yet. So I'm going to drop it down and I'm going to mix this recipe up for everybody. So y'all can see I'm mixing it up, you know. Now, I've never tasted this, but this looks like it's going to be really, really good. And the reason why I put the banana nut bread in there, okay, is because that banana that in there is not a candied banana it's more of a like baked authentic type banana you know what i'm saying and the bready note that nut bread it has spices in this flavoring that are going to pair really really well with the spices that are in this eggnog from flavora so it's doing a bunch of different duties this one flavoring right here you got your banana to help it, this other banana. You got your spices. And that bready note is actually going to just help thicken up this eggnog and the milkshake as well. So you see my, my thought process, right? Okay, you see my thought process. All right, there we go. Now, let me minimize this so I can get it over here. So I can mix it up. All right. Excuse my desk again. I ain't lying. I got flavors all over the daggone place. Telling you, old hippie vapes has been mixing and mixing and mixing. For real, man. All right. I'm just going to use this same daggone bottle. And let me take the label off. This was my banana caramel eggnog. And this one is just caramel eggnog. I mean, banana eggnog version two. I guess it'd be banana eggnog by itself because it's, I took the caramel out. I don't know. Who cares? Let's tear the scale out. <laughs> All right, simple recipe. Banana nut bread. Using a two and a half percent. I'm making a 15 mil bottle. So it'd be 0.39%. And yes, my fan is going. That's why the scale is jumping around. I don't have to, I'm not one of them people who, oh my gosh, I went a little over, the recipe is ruined. In my opinion, it don't matter. Just as long as you don't go, you know, crazy over, you know, what it's supposed to be. See, I went 0.43. It's supposed to be 0.39. Sue me. Tear. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm saying? All right. Tear that scale out, Nick, do it? Jeez, come on. Oh, I forgot to show you the flavor, didn't I? Tag gone. I'm getting lazy, huh? If it will focus. Y'all get the point. I'm not going to do that anymore. We're just going to go with it. Banana puree. Wonder flavors. Banana puree. See, it won't focus because of this bad boy. Yeah, I almost had it. Old camera, old Fred don't want to work today. All right. Banana puree, 1% be 0.16. So it's really going to be about six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six drops. Yeah, close enough. 0.14. We'll put one more for good measure. Seven. I know it's jumping all over the place. Who cares? I know where it's at. All right, next up, we got eggnog. Look at my old ass bottle, man. I had to write my thing on there. I forgot to put my clear tape over the label. I've been trying to use this flavor up ever since I got this bottle. Remember these? Yeah. Eggnog, man. Eggnog at 2.5% to be 0.35. Almost there. Good enough. All right. I'm real curious about how this is going to turn out, too, on a shake. Now, it took a while for them bananas to calm down, but since I dropped that banana puree to 1% instead of 2 it, it might be all right. And then this milkshake, Capella's new milkshake. 
you know. Sorry, Wendy. I love your milkshake, but that Burger King milkshake kicks ass, but I'm just wanting to thicken this eggnog up a little bit. We'll cheat and use milkshake from Capella. 2% be 0 0.30 grams. Y'all getting bored yet? Yeah, y'all done got bored. Y'all done clicked off, uh-huh. Last up, we're using, yep, yeah, that's what we're using. <laughs> Vanilla bean ice cream, the flavor apprentice. One half percent be 0.24 grams. One more drop, boom. There we go, 0.24. All right, my additive is four drops. One, two, three, four. And we got 2.25 grams of propylene glycol. Good enough. And then the rest is some VG. I'm not going to add any sweetener to this at all. No sweetener. I'll, if I do, I'll add me a, like one or maybe two drops of VSO sweet in here. Yeah, let's mix this bad boy up. I'm itching to taste this one. I hope them spices really come out. Mm. All right. Let's come up top here. Mm -mm. Mm. Uh oh, watch out. Watch out, people. That my batteries are dead. Yep. My batteries are dead on my Hadley deck, don't it? All right, here we go. Banana eggnog version two. Hmm, interesting. That's real interesting. This is going to need a steep. This is definitely going to need a steep. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. There's a lot going on. The banana's there, but it's not overpowering. I'm tasting like the creamy, milky milkshake. Uh, eggnog's not really there. There's a little bit of spice, but can't really tell them yet. Um, I don't know if it's quite thick enough for me, though. But we'll see. You know, that's the enjoyment of DIY. You can mix it up and tweak it and get it to your liking. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's what all this is about, man. Just helping y'all just come up with ideas like, hey, man, I might use this instead of this. You know, hey, we could use a vanilla ice cream instead of vanilla bean ice cream, you know, show up. That'd make it a little thicker. We might could add the custard premium back to it, but then you'd be having a long list of different flavorings, you know, why get too complicated, simplify it a little bit, you know? change something around might take the banana nut bread out yeah and put one and a half percent of banana puree and then leave the rest alone like it is you know or maybe add some of this banana cream from the flavor apprentice cut a big ass bottle man this bottle has lasted me for years 
Hell yeah. Good ideas, huh? So y'all get down there. Mix you up a bottle or two, you know? See how you like it. It's not bad. That first one is pretty damn good. The caramel gets lost a little bit, though. But it's good. It's a good recipe. So hope y'all like that. Uh, remember, be nice to everybody. Leave good comments. In the meantime, everybody, peace, love, and harmony, everybody. Y'all have a groovy day. Later, y'all.